Hass avocado is the new green gold of Uganda. Today the Harvest Money Show visited Nao Kado Farm where they grow has avocados. Why has avocado? Has avocado has a very rich oil content. Our avocados also have oil content. But for, according to our, our survey, we, we, we did a test with the different avocado varieties we have. And the greatest avocado gave us at around, uh, was it 5% oil content. So if I'm going to, to extract oil and you give me a ton of local variety, I will get 5%. But as avocado goes up to 23%, there are those that give 16, the, the greatest is 23%, if you plant it at a different altitude. So, for business sense, I would need to have a ton of Hass avocado and get 23 or 16% out of that. The breath of life starts from the River Nile and the new crop in the context of uh, nutrition, in the context of uh, making money, is Hass avocado. And also ensure that people's livelihoods change because of using a superfood, that is here to not only nutritionalize a lot of our, our, our deficits in nutrition, but also to ensure that we have good income. And here you are in our model orchard. Uganda, we, are, we have small holding of land. So here where you are, we are at around uh, three and a half acres, and uh, which has uh, coming close to three uh, orchard. Avocado, avocados are very interesting crops, and uh, why has avocado? We've had avocados in Uganda for long, but the varieties or the cultivar of has was initiated in uh, East Africa long ago by Australians in Kenya, and a few Ugandans picked those uh, avocados, but they didn't take the commercial uh, viability of avocado. It's of, of, of recent that uh, different players, Nile Kado and other players, are trying to popularize Hass Avocado because of the current market trends and the market demands of Hass Avocado. This avocado has very rich nutrients when it comes to zinc, when it comes to, when it comes to the uh, fatty acids, the good oils, when it comes to, to magnesium, manganese, so the, the content, nutritional content of avocado is, is, is looked for by people in the keto diets in Europe, but also in Africa, because everyone wants to keep a, a healthy life. So avocado is the main ingredient in the keto diet. But also the vitamin E content here, my sisters know it very well that vitamin E is the basic nutrient they need to have good skins and also the, so we have our friends in uh, the beautician industries that are looking for avocado oil which is the main ingredient of vitamin e compare the gestation period of has avocado and our local varieties the greatest world ever is, is to ensure that you invest your one million shilling and the return of investment is at, as short as possible and very many crops in this world give you either a short, long, and a very long return on investment. With Hass Avocado, within three years, you can start to see the prospects here. We are not yet even three years. But at least you know that whatever is fruiting here is Hass. But also within the range of three, let's say three and a half, you will be able to start harvesting the fruit. Our local avocados, the last time you threw an avocado seed, you will need uh, 10 years to see a seeming thing like a flower. And uh, for us, what the, we are using now technology of grafting to shorten that period of time. So the technology is we get the, the seed from the local variety. And that seed will take around three months to shoot, to give us a shoot, which we call a rootstock. And after we go to our mother gardens and we cut a zion from already a mature has avocado tree and we do a grafting so as that grafting when it takes shoot and it 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 it, it survives 
it will shorten the period. The 10 years you wait for, I will give you three years. By the way, even though you graft right now, in the next three, six months, you can still get a house, avocado. But the challenge is that tree will be so weak to handle the different fruits. So why shortening the period is to bring the business viability. So using the grafting and using mature zions from already a certified mother garden, that's when we are able to shorten the period and have has avocado. And also using steel technology is that uh, to, a, to enable that you have a very good fruit, you have to give it good uh, nutrition in time. But also avocado, the, the funny thing with avocado flowers is that we have uh, type A and type B kind of flowers, whereby one flower, avocado flower, has a male and female, but they don't all function on the same time. I could say that for, for, for a better word. So when the female is ready, the male is not ready for us. So we mix the different variety. We mix has avocado and another variety called fuete. When the male of fuete is ready, it is in the same time when the female of has is ready. And in that, we have cross-pollination to give us the best. But the pollinators we use are bees. So in an orchard like this, there must be an apiary to ensure that you have good pollination and also you multiply your income sources from the house, but also from the beekeeping. Okay, so I want... Don't you think this new technology will kill our local varieties? The only trees that protect the genome the genes, the genome of any avocado, other local varieties. Because they are resistant to disease, the local disease. They are resistant to pests and diseases. They, they, they are resistant in their natural setting. Because when we, in, in, in botany, we call it selection for the fittest. So that local variety, we don't cut it down. We pick the fruit from it to give us already where to start from. A place of security that, you know what? What you are going to grow with has already tried a test of time. And what we are adding on is that to give us a fruit. But its resistance comes from down. Its resistance comes from this local variety. However, the fragile nature of the scion we give it has to be also looked after very well. That's why you ensure that it doesn't have infestations of a lot of pests and diseases. And also it has ample water to ensure that it, it thrives very well. What does a farmer out there need to know before he starts growing has avocado? Before you even think of planting one of your seedlings, one is to know the soil, the soil type. The soil type. One, has avocado needs a very good draining soils, the loamy sandy soils, that will retain some water, but not overpercolate water in itself. Why? Because has avocado, these, fruit, these trees have a very fragile root system. That if you have a lot of water around the root system, it will create root rot. And which is the greatest danger in this tree. So it's fragile in that way. So number one, soil test. If your soils are not in the valleys with a lot of uh, clay, with a lot of uh, silt, and a lot of water, and not also so much to stony areas like this, just a loamy, a loamy or, or, or sandy loamy, you are good to go. That's one. Two, if your land is not in a porch of valley where we can get frost, then also you are good to go. And thirdly, what nutrient contents are missing here? So as you can know, before I start planting, I need to have this kind of pH, I need to have this kind of kind of system. So one, two, for an acre of avocado, like a pure stand like this, you just need 160 trees at a spacing of five to five meters. And with your 160 trees, uh, uh, seedlings of uh, has avocado, you create a, a hole that is around two to two feet. And with that, you give it a, a good manure like a one benzene into one benzene of mixture. And with that, you're good to go. But by and large, like any other tree, has avocado shouldn't be left just for God itself. Many people that have started and those that are trying to start may think that since it's a tree, I will leave it to the bushes. 
like it is for pine or eucalyptus. And that is not the case. Why? Because there is a lot of attack. It's loved by the goats, but also by other insects. So the more you don't clear the floor, you keep it uh, with a lot of bush, you will see it stagnate and it will die off. Can has avocados be intercropped? The, 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 the good planting system is avocado can have an intercrop, but we do not, we do not, we, you don't intercrop it with, any compi, with a competing plant. And in competition, it's for the feeding system, but also the height. So, we can have legumes as a very good intercrop. And uh, for this year, we've cleared because we are now concentrating on fruiting. But legumes will add nitrogen to your to soil, which we need. But also, you, there are other trees that are nearby that shouldn't be close to avocado because of, of the kind of feeding system that is resembling. For example, you may have a mango. And the fruit fry from the mango is the same fruit fry that is going to attack. So you should create a buffer zone between your orchard and the other tree. They should be more than 10 meters apart. So as you create a safe zone for your avocados. But yes, you can intercrop. To even start from the legume, as you are trying to harvest the legume, then you create the holes, what we call spot, spot hoeing and spot weeding. So as they spot the area and you plant accordingly, as your legumes grow. That is a way you can, you can also buffer in your incomes because in, a, in, in three years, you can have two and a half seasons or four seasons you've, you've harvested in that. So yes, an intercrop is possible. Can you please tell the viewers out there the general management of has avocados? Well, let's face the management into the three years. The most intensive year is the first year. After you've, uh, you've made your hole and you've planted, in case you've planted in a rainy season, your water management system is being leveraged by the rain. But in case you do what we call the dry planting, which for those who, are not, uh, who, who don't fear risks, it's the best because trees establish very fast. After you've planted, you need to give your, your plant close to five liters a week of water. And that is spread in your first three weeks. Why? Because you need that to establish. Then, you need to give it a weeding, a, a weeding, a, a weeding uh, period of around, uh, in a space of one year, you need to weed like three times. And in case you don't have uh, a legume, you need to create what we call a, a, a spot. You weed around that tree. Now, when we are planting, we have what we call the heap system. And here is that in case of any rain, the water won't percolate at the stem. It will percolate at the canopy distance, which gives us where the tree, the, the, the root system is. And the feeding is at the canopy. So we create this. So as one, we don't have a lot of water at the stem. So as we run away from the, fruit, uh, from the root rot, but also secondly, to ensure that we have a breadth of water intake, which is something that these trees will have. But also, when it comes to management, for those who have very many acres, it may be very difficult for you to slash a hundred acre piece of land. You don't have any legume. So when you do the spot weeding and these hips, it's a management system to ensure that around your tree, you don't have infestations of pests and diseases. So by and large, that period, the first year, should be planting, management of molds, but also ensuring you have either clean flow or a managed intercrop. Then the second year, an avocado. Avocados love sunlight. And the people who keep an avocado with a lot of canopy, as if it's a bush forest, are doing it a disservice because it needs a lot of light to create the fruit. So one, the second management system is the pruning system. When this plant is still one stalk, it starts to branch and we manage it between the, the third month to a year to ensure it gives us one, two, three, four branches. And this we do it as early 
before even it, it gets its first year birthday in the field, as early as possible so as we have the branching system. Now, the reason why we need the branching system is to, to have a, a more leverage of production and create a base for more sunlight in penetra penetration into the canopy and finally to have the more fruit. So pruning as a practice allows this tree to have breadth of sunlight but also the free air movement and when we are planting we plant on the east-west direction to allow this tree to have more more time with the sunlight so when we don't move east-west and you plant without the east-west direction of sun the tree you give it a very short period of time but when you plant knowing that your lining out is on the east-west direction the tree will have more hours of sun and the more hours more energy is tapped more fruit more fruit you're getting and more money to your pocket ensure that it's not so high up so as when it comes to fruiting and harvesting these are very delicate fruits and if i want to take it for export market it's not that you won't harvest it as we used to do in our village of getting chikonyogo and pushing it up and harvest as many as you can hit no, you need to pick it with care and organize it where it is. But above all, we have infestation of fruits, of uh, uh, pests and diseases. And the management system entails you to have a proper manage, pest management system. And in that, every time you scout, you go to your farm and you say hello to your trees. Ask it, how are you today? And who is disturbing you? Because when you don't do that, it will give you results later. I uh, said, boss, sorry, I couldn't produce more because so, 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 some person came here and ate what you are supposed to have. So scouting is done on a daily. And we always encourage farmers to ensure that you have where you record. Last month, you scouted what was the most predominant uh, pest or, or, or disease. And you do a system. You spray according to what you see, but also with those that we encourage a lot of organic kind of, of growth, still we have a management system that entails an organic production. Then the most critical part is when flowering has come. I earlier said without the bees, you may not have proper fertilization. So at a stage when your orchard has started to show prospects of flowering, you introduce the beehives. And the bees are one of the most uh, clever animals. You introduce a beehive when the tree is still young, it will start to go around the community and get from the very nutritious flowers and forget has avocado or avocado, which is, has a very dull flower with no nectar, which the, the nectar is there, but it's not that sweet. So we introduce these bees in a time when we have the prospect of flowering. So as our bees eat from what you've given them, and you don't waste by just creating a beehive for your neighbors. So flowering is very important. Then we feed this crop with a lot of nutrients that would support the flowering. The most critical part is when you have a very good, free, uh, very good fruit, how do you harvest it? And with our avocado, we, if you look, we harvest a nib. We allow this to stay because many times when we break it off, infestations start from there. And you won't go to any market that will allow a already an infested kind of fruit. So the management processes, the most critical, are the planting and management of the young seedling up to the fruiting stage. Now, the fruiting stage, it's just how do you manage the fruit fries? Can you have traps? And how do you ensure that you don't have disease on your crop? Why is the market of this variety? I can tell you that uh, as of uh, last week, as of last week, we, we, we got a lot of orders from uh, our colleagues in Eastern Europe. And the list would ask for around 14 tons of avocado, 14 tons, not per month, but per week. I've said that there is demand from groceries across Europe. The reason is this, that when Uganda trees are fruiting, 
Brazil trees have already fruited and they no longer have fruits. And Kenyan's period is as short as their reigns. And Uganda, God gave us double. So we have the longest fruiting season, which starts as early as late October and stretches within the time of when Kenya is also fruiting. So the market is in the gap of scarcity when it comes to the European market. But secondly still, it's also in the, in the cosmetic industry, we have uh, very many players who are into has avocado oil and they buy a kilo. But also, now they are buying rejects. They would love to have as much oil as possible. Then, the cosmetic industry needs the oil. But many, like France, imports a lot of has for their cosmetic industry. The market is also in people who are into their different products. The seed itself, the stone itself, is being made for different things. One, it's been made for, for the tea, avocado tea. But also, it's been made, uh, it's helping us to have uh, the black soja flies. Whereby, you eat, you, you feed the soja flies with the pulp and the seed to have more proteins. From, from the different uh, worms. But for the avocado seed, it's, uh, for the avocado fruit, it's into the cosmetic, it's into the fresh export, and it's into a lot of other varieties of eating, the keto diets and what. Europe needs this because they can't produce this. For those that can produce, they do a lot of irrigation, a lot of technology, and the cost of them to produce a kilo is high up. So for our friends who are in... Uh, this great expo, you should know that one, this is the only investment you'll do for three years, sit and enjoy it for 50 years. Because this tree will feed you, your, your children and your grandchildren. Yet you've started now. So, as you plan for pensions, for those who are pensioning, as you plan for what to do, just think, your, th just think around, how can you invest just uh, 3 million shillings? And it gives you an average of 10 to 15 million per acre. So, if you can answer that question, then you will think of Hass Avocado. Thank you for watching the Harvest Money Show. Thank you for watching Urban TV. My name is Rosemary Tkundane. Bye bye.